Okay. We should pass this around, right? Yeah, I got the I lob. I think you should put it in between your legs. Thank you. And then you have to answer like the then. question. So listen. <laughs> 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 what does that feel about? That'll that's work. Right. I, think, I think that'll do. <laughs> and, <laughs> and thank you. And thank you. Hey guys, it's Brian from 2Fab here. Today we're talking to the stars of the new Lifetime show, Unreal. Now what was it about the project that you guys were drawn to? Being not necessarily a huge fan of reality television, <laughs> I was kind of excited to be able to pull back the curtain on the people who make the reality shows and kind of getting to show people what it's really like behind the scenes. So that was kind of exciting on television mm. before. Yeah. It's like a show that's like a completely different world. You've never seen these personalities. I know from being an actor, I've never played these situations before. You're doing wild, crazy things. And I remember like when we were shooting every script, all the actors were reading it being like, did you read what's in the next episode? I can't believe how much stuff is going on and who's sleeping with who. And <laughs> yeah. it's, it's wild. And it's I totally wild. Say, there's no way they're going to let us shoot this. There's no way we're oh, going to we be allowed to shoot things. this. We would always say after the table read, oh, we're never going to shoot that. And then we uh. shot everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Shoot everything, and then we'll see what we put in. And see what stays. Yes, yeah. exactly. Now, you touched on it that you were not necessarily a reality TV fan beforehand. Is that the same for all three of you, or do you have guilty uh, pleasures that you... I mean, I haven't really... I did in England, I will confess. I watched, like, maybe two seasons of Big Brother, okay. which is kind of big there, and that was a guilty pleasure. I have so much other television I need to watch. Mm, it's hard these yeah. days. Mm. But this one over here... I'm, like oh, yeah. I'm a big She's Project a Runway junkie. Uh, yeah. I've seen them all many times. Yeah. I mean, she made her dress that she's wearing Really? Today. She yeah. made this. That's how crazy she, she is, is about Project Runway. That is impressive. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's right. You that's need to what be I mean. on it. Like a celebrity season. That's we need to make that happen. I think that's Thankfully, going it's to on happen. the same network. And that's right. can make it happen. <laughs> you have the connection to that. Now, we see with shows like The Hills and The Bachelor, Bachelorette, whenever people talk about their actual experience afterwards, fans are always surprised. Yeah. I still think it's strange that a lot of people at home think that these shows are real. real. I think it's going to be really <laughs> eye-opening for people to see how these, these shows are actually made and the manipulation that really goes into it. And I think you start to feel for the people on the show a bit more. <laughs> now, did you guys speak with any people that may have been reality show alums or are you friends with people that have done I it? Actually in got together with the people that run Magical Elves. Okay. <laughs> and I sat with them for about like an hour and a half or two hours and I asked them a bunch of questions. And one of the things I thought was really interesting was I asked them if they felt guilty about what they what they were doing. And it was like someone was asking that. For, I mean, I was literally asking that to them for the first time. They hadn't even considered it. And then they told me like, they're like, oh, well, this one time they felt bad about one situation where someone's family member had died and they hadn't, mm. they told them until after they got what they needed or some some kind of version of that. But it was interesting because it was really just like a job to them and listening to them talk about it was a lot of the stuff that we talk about on our show, like Frankensteining the footage mm -hmm. and, you know, so I kind of got like a, to see the world before we started shooting the show. And now, Freddie, how does it feel to be cast as the the main the guy, the suitor. suitor. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah. Yeah. Essentially, what, what it was, and what comes along with that. I um, guess. Yeah. I mean, it was. I I haven't watched much reality TV, so I kind of just and my character didn't know much about it, so I kind of kept with that. It was fun. It was. I mean, there were lots of you know kind of intimate scenes, the rest of it. But the, as we were saying, like the cast is so awesome, so it was such never a gentleman like. To all the women. Yeah, and yeah. he's really easy on the eyes. <laughs> yeah, he's super uh, cute. Stop it, guys. Yeah, no, it was it was fun. Um, and <laughs> Sherry saw a lot more. Than that. <laughs> <laughs> we can, we got some scenes. Pillows involved, <laughs> right? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and what is one of those very far moments that you're excited for fans to see this season? Man, uh, I can't even say. Can't, I don't think I can say. I can't even tell you. Right. It's, it's that far. Like that. It's yeah. that far. It's as far as you imagine. It's yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It, it's definitely was one of the scripts where we all kind of, our jaws dropped. <laughs> And we thought, yeah. how in the world are we going to come back? I verbally out loud, I remember reading an episode just in my trailer. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs>